In this video, I'll be doing a review of Ubuntu 12.04.3. Now, yes, I did review Ubuntu 12.04 when it first came out in April 2012, but this point .3 release has not just been a simple upgrade of some of the applications, they've gone a bit further. For example, Canonical have now uplifted the kernel from version 3.2 to 3.8, and it's the 3.8 kernel that's in Rearing Ringtail, Ubuntu 13.04. So that means that there's much wider hardware compatibility there. For example, the NVIDIA 600 series of graphics cards will now work, whereas they wouldn't work with Ubuntu 12.04 initially out of the box. You had to uplift the kernel. But that's great, you don't have to do that yourself. Anyway, there's also been improvements on gaming now that uh, there's been some tweaks in Compiz, which is also good because now there is now Steam available for Ubuntu, and that wasn't available when I first reviewed this distro. So that is now a massive advantage to gaming in Linux. I'll take a look through some more of the changes in this distro. Oh, well, if you're already running Ubuntu 12.04, you don't have to reinstall, you just have to do the upgrade, and your system will naturally update through to Ubuntu 12.04.3. So while there have been a lot of system updates for Ubuntu 12.04, there's not been the updates to the applications, though. We've still got older set of applications available. So, for example, I'm just installing GIMP, and I'll take a look at that to see if it's got the... We can do the single window mode. Uh, the other one here, VLC, I mean, this might be a bit out of date now as well, um, although it should be one that's getting security fixes. Now I think that's the older one, because GIMP 2.6 didn't have single window mode, did it? Uh, let's have a look. Windows, no. So no single window mode available there. You do have the heads-up display, which allows you to find a command from the menus. It can be a useful way, especially with uh, like GIMP, you've got lots of items in the menu. I'm not sure exactly what you're after, so you can type in a vague description. But I appreciate it's not useful for every application. Although it's not as refined here in Ubuntu 12.04 as it is in the later versions of Ubuntu. I'll check the version of VLC, and what we've got here we have VLC 2.0.8. Now I think that's one of the later versions, isn't it? It's not that far out of date. So perhaps some applications are getting these security updates, which in turn mean that they're getting totally updated to newer versions. Whereas like GIMP, you're stuck on the older version. Which probably isn't a huge issue if you're not that worried about being on the bleeding edge. But if you were after a newer version of GIMP, what you'd have to do is go into Google and type in PPA or GIMP and you'll come across quite a few posts about this. So the actual page of Launchpad where the, uh, where the repository is stored is on the here. So what you'd have to do is add that line in there into your software sources. That's for the Ubuntu Software Center, and Edit Software Sources. And add it here, other software. Pop in your password close and then it will come up with the updates later on. That's just a simple way of doing it, there are, are, there are other alternative methods. Anyway, that's not necessarily a huge issue if you're not really interested in the newest and greatest versions of software. All the important applications are still getting updated, so your web browser is still being updated, that's the same for Firefox and Chromium. So this is the newer and latest version on that, so Firefox 23. There were a few other improvements within Compiz. If I go across to the My Unity app, which is no longer recommended to be used in the newer versions of Ubuntu, but I think was perfectly fine for the older version in Ubuntu 12.04. Yeah, for example, this colour changer now works on the Unity launcher, and it sticks through Reboot, which is rather nice. Although I can never get the colours to look right on it. Um, funny enough, yeah, I always wanted this colour changer to be on there in Ubuntu 12.04 when I used it, but... now I don't even bother with it nowadays, since I have that ability in 13.04. Yep, I don't even use it. There's not many more obvious changes to the system since it was first released. As I said, you've got all the underlying changes like the kernel, xorg, a lot of security updates to applications, and a few newer applications available. The initial installed set are still the same, so we'll just take a look through and see what we had. So games, there's only the few basic games, so I've installed Steam. Internet, you have Firefox for web browser, Thunderbird for the email client. Under Office, you've got the partial suite of LibreOffice. 
accessories, just a few varieties of accessories there. And graphics, it was Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan, New Image Viewer. Media, you have Totem for the movie player and Rhythmbox for the music player. I installed VLC, as you saw earlier in the video. And here's what I thought of Ubuntu 12.04. So it's good to see the uplift of the kernel and some of the other applications. That's a massive bonus of using this long-term support release of Ubuntu 12.04 compared to, say, the stable version of Debian. Because I found they don't always update the kernel there. You get security updates, but not an updated kernel. So there's a big difference there when you start adding new hardware to an older distro. So bear in mind this distro will be supported till 2017. I do have well, reasonable confidence that well, as we get new hardware over the years, the kernel will be uplifted and will therefore support the newer hardware. And it's also good to see the improvement to gaming. So the tweaking compiz has much improved it, it there and that's a massive bonus considering we're using, considering we now have Steam in Linux. And the disadvantages, well, it's a shame that not all the applications have been uplifted, so you don't quite have the fine selection that is available in Ubuntu 13.04. If you want to get them, you'd have to go and add repositories, which is a bit of work. Not too bad, though, if you know what you're looking for. And also, it's a shame that there's not been some other nicer tweaks to Unity, which would put me off of going back to 12.04, because I do quite like the glossy effects in Ubuntu 13.04. So overall, I've given this distro 87%, which, quite weirdly, is a lower score than I gave it when I initially reviewed it. However, I've kind of made it more difficult now for Linux distros to get a higher score. So it's my tweaks on scoring that have affected the overall score, not the fact that the distro itself has gotten worse. Because if anything, it has gotten better since it's been released. So thanks for watching. See you later.